The next type of ad we're going to set up is an interstitial ad. Interstitial ads are full page ads that appear in your app at natural breaks or transition points. This is commonly used at the end of a level or when a player dies. We're going to display an interstitial ad after the player dies. And when the user dismisses the ad, we'll let them restart the level. I've got a layout set up with a basic platformer level. Our player can die by falling off of this ledge when they leave the screen. Let's switch to the event sheet. Just like with all ad types, we need to preload the ad before we display it. The easiest way to do this is at the start of the layout. Let's add an event using the system object and choose on start of layout. Add an action using the ultimate adds object. Under interstitial, we only have two options, load interstitial and show interstitial. Right now, we want to load an interstitial ad. I already have an event set up being triggered when the player dies. I'll drag it down below the on start of layout event. We need to check if the interstitial is loaded before we display it, but I've got a sound effect that plays when the player dies. I want that sound to play regardless if the interstitial is loaded or not. So, we need to check if the interstitial is loaded in a sub event. Right click the on destroyed event and choose sub event and select the ultimate adds object. We've got two events here, is interstitial loaded and is showing interstitial. We'll use is interstitial loaded. Then we want to add an action using ultimate adds and select show interstitial. When the player dies, we check to see if an interstitial ad is loaded and if it is, we show the ad. Last, we need to restart the layout after the ad is dismissed. Add an event using ultimate ads. And we've got a bunch of options under interstitials. They're all really self-explanatory, but we can check if the interstitial is loaded, if it is being shown, if it is being clicked, if the ad is dismissed, if it fails to load, when it is loaded, and when it is shown. We want to use on interstitial dismissed. Add an action using system and choose restart layout. When you restart the layout, this on start of layout event is called and another interstitial ad is preloaded. It's pretty common to use interstitial ads without restarting the layout, in which case you'd want to preload another ad just after you show the interstitial. So right here, we could add an action using ultimate ads and select load interstitial. Basically, you're creating a loop. On the start of layout, load an ad. When the player dies, show the ad, then reload another ad. The player dies and the new ad is shown, and so on. We'll go through the build process later, but for now, here is how our example looks running in the emulator. When the player falls off the ledge and dies, the interstitial ad is shown. If I dismiss the ad, the layout is restarted. That's how easy it is to set up an interstitial ad. Just preload and then display it whenever you'd like, and then preload again. Let's move on to the last ad type, rewarded videos, where completion of the video will trigger a reward for the user.